Welcome to this review. We're going to take a closer look at Weebly, one of the most popular website builders on the market. To start, you have to type in your login details here. What we see now is Weebly's dashboard. There's nothing really fancy to it, but it is very easy to find your way around here. While Weebly offers their interface in several languages, their support section is available only in English at this time. These are the websites I've already created in my account. On the free plan, you can create two websites. If you go for the pro plan, the limit is 10 individual sites. Now I click on the edit page and the website editor starts up. It also looks rather plain, but actually there's plenty of functionality in it. Let's take a look at the widget bar at the top. Here's everything that has to do with text editing and a little bit more. In multimedia, you'll find things like a photo gallery and a slideshow widget as well as video integration. By the way, when you see a little pro in the widgets icon, that means it's only available with the paid plan. First, let's see how text editing works. Here you can see a paragraph with picture widget. To change text, I simply click on it and start typing. If you want to format the text, simply use this toolbar, which works just like Microsoft Word. This is all really easy. Unfortunately, for some of you, there's no way to edit the HTML source of a text paragraph, but you can always add a custom HTML widget if you have a secret passion for source code. Now I want to show you how to add a photo gallery like this one. To show you how it works, I'll remove the existing one and rebuild it from scratch. First I click the gallery widget and drag it onto my page right here. Now I click on it and upload the photos that I want to add from my computer. Once the images have been uploaded, you can choose from a couple of options like a number of columns, spacing, borders, and cropping in this bar. In order to push changes live to the web, you first have to click on the Publish button. Now let's take a look at our photo gallery. As you can see, the pictures will be shown using this nice light box effect. Another feature I want to show you is the contact form widget. You simply drag it onto your page again. This will already create a complete contact form, probably enough for most small websites. But that's not all. Next to your title, you can add further fields like yes or no buttons or check boxes. The contact form submissions will be sent to your email address, so make sure you've entered the right address here. You can also change the confirmation message, which a user will receive after submitting the form. To make changes to the header image on your site, click on Change Image. You can now add your own image or change the current one. Weebly offers some nice effects that you can use to spice up your website's header image. And here is the place to add your own logo or company name. Next, we take a quick look at Weebly's template layouts. Finding the right design for a website is usually one of the most important things for many users. To get an overview, I click All Themes. Personally, I find Weebly's designs are OK. There are other website builders that offer themes that are a bit more interesting, but Weebly offers great options to customize existing themes or to create one from scratch. For this, of course, you need to know your HTML and CSS pretty well, or you can find a programmer who can help you. By the way, a nice-looking smartphone-friendly website version will be created for you as well. Go to Design Options to change fonts, font sizes, or font colors. The only thing missing right now in Weebly is a good way to change the background image of your website. The next thing I want to show is how to manage the pages of your website. To select a page, you have to click on the name. Now you can change the name that will show up in the navigation, but you can also exclude the page to appear in your navigation by clicking here. This makes sense, for example, for your privacy policy in case you have one. You can also password protect the page or do some search engine optimization under advanced settings. Most importantly, you can set the page title and description as well as a couple of other settings. To change the hierarchy of your pages, simply drag and drop them into the right place. It even looks like there's no limit to the navigational levels. At least I haven't found one so far. To add a completely new page or even a blog, you have to click here 
or here. If you're working in a team, you will probably love the Editors feature. Here you can grant your coworkers access to three different access levels. Administrator, who can do and see everything. Authors, who can only edit pages that you select. And Dashboard Only Access, for managing blog comments and checking stats. Please note that this is a feature only in the Pro plan. Once you start using Weebly, you'll quickly realize that this website builder takes ease of use to a whole new level. The editor is extremely intuitive and will allow you to hit the ground running. If you're able to find a design you like, Weebly could be the perfect website builder for you. The only thing I wouldn't be comfortable using Weebly for is to create an online store. Weebly's e-commerce is limited to PayPal's standard buttons, and that doesn't give you very many options. On WebsiteToolTester.com, we feature an even more detailed Weebly review, as well as a comparison chart with similar website builders. There, you can also find a video that shows you all of the details on how to sign up and how to get your own domain name. And as always, if you have any questions, please leave a comment. Thank you for your time.